Welcome to this five versus five three point King of the Hill match in the BTL rule set. I have the full links in the info below for you if you would like to see those. We will talk about some of them as we progress here. But today the two teams playing are stick together in the green shirts and dank in the black shirts. As I mentioned, this is three point King of the Hill. Each team has been assigned one color. Uh, the Davis Nerf Club or dank is in blue and stick together is turning to the red side of their timers. You can see in the overhead shot, there is a red and a blue cone in the opposite corners. Those are the spawn points. You have to head back to one of those when you are tagged out, count to 15, and then you can spawn back into the game from uh, half of the field that is your color, any edge on that half of the field. Uh, that is described again more in depth in the rules link down below. Now these teams are working with a 300 dart limitation. They can divvy those darts or rounds up however they choose amongst their team, but that is all they get. And the round length, as you saw when the game started, is six minutes long. We're just over a minute in, and the ebb and the flow of the game is really fun to watch, especially from this overhead view. As you see, Dank actually go ahead and take over the entire field. They have all three points. All of those timers in the top right are ticking under blue for their color, and they have pushed up and asserted field dominance here. The good thing is that you can hold your spawns when you're tagged out, so the team can spawn together, which is what Stick Together has kind of tried here, though some of their team didn't come in at the same time, and they were uh, a little bit mistimed, and that affected their ability to push back in. Though they have, they have retaken their corner point which is generally easiest for each team however they are also the hardest to defend because there is the least amount of cover there with the current map layout and davis here is going to push back this is one of the things that we see that i have seen as we've gone through our testing matches is that teams when they take control of something they often push too far and they can overextend and and put themselves in a place where they don't have enough cover to really hold all three points and this as you can see right here one of the dank players gets tagged in the back now this unfortunately i noticed afterwards happened because that player i don't believe understood the respawn mechanics fully and uh that will be something that we will be working hard to make as clear and concise as possible so players will always understand that you need to head back to your spawn point before you can spawn back in rather than taking a moving 15 second counter uh, but the idea behind the cover layout for this game is that no point is completely bunkerable. You can't just sit and have complete control of it and be in, uh, impenetrable, essentially. They need to be somewhat indefensible to create those moments where teams can come back and swing the game back in their favor. And it makes the game a bit more fluid and exciting and whatnot. Now, right here, you notice out of darts talking to me about what happens when a timer is dropped. Uh, and we actually had to figure it out on the fly. Because the person hadn't completed the transition to their color yet, it should go back to the other team's color that had it prior to that. Now, this is an issue that we actually have been trying to figure out for a while. Hopefully, in the future, with something that is uh, being worked on, we won't have to worry about these kinds of timers anymore. We'll have something a bit better and a bit more catered or suited towards this style of play. But we work with what we have for now while we're testing, and that's just the way it has to be. We see the way the covers laid out again is that you can't push through or you can't babysit a corner or an edge of a spawn without being exposed to another area on the field. It's very important. We don't want players to ever be spawn camped. Uh, it's just not fun to watch, it's not fun to participate in, and it impedes the flow of the game. So we've really worked hard on getting a layout that promotes constant movement and constant play. As Dank just tries to just dominate the field right now, pushing and not letting anyone stay behind any cover. And that that really, really lends to Davis's play style. They often are on the move. Uh, Kyle Wen, you'll see, he's, he's pushed up at the front, is always running and always flanking, and is just uh, a fantastic force on the field. 
But Stick Together has made some good pushes in this game and throughout this tournament. They did did have some really nice moments, though there was some missed communication on their parts that we saw earlier. They would call for a push and uh, the timing wasn't quite right. So that's something I look forward to seeing their growth as a team when they continue to play together and we continue to have these tournaments. And you've got one of the, the dank players trying to draw as much attention as he can from the other team so that his team can spawn back in and take these points for the last 30 seconds of this match. As Stick Together did have all three points for a, a little amount of time. Now, unfortunately for Stick Together, Davis has clearly been a dominant force in this match. But... This is their second time playing on the day. This is the final match of the day, actually, for this tournament as we enter into the last 10 seconds and Dank tries to push them off one last time to get as much time as they can, try and sneak that last little bit of time. And there we have it. That is the end of the match. The timers will update. There we go. Dank wins with a total of 12 minutes and 53 seconds against Stick Together's 4 minutes and 36. Definitely, definitely a strong showing from Davis. This was a fantastic event to get to, to test with and play with everyone and see how things go. There will be continued updates to these rules. If you want to test them, I have a link down below to our Facebook page where you can find the rules, find the updated version. Feel free to contact me. I would love to get these rules in as many hands as possible and get these going with everyone that we can. This is a passion, this is a dream for me to try and get competitive nerf going as many places as possible and I would love to see it happen with all of your help. So let me know what you thought of all of this today, of this game type. What did you like? What would you like to see changed? What are your thoughts on it? Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel and enjoy this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular and I'll see you next time.